guys I had planned on uh, washing the car this afternoon on this nice uh, sunny Sunday afternoon but it looks like uh, mother nature has dumped a little snow on us so I think we might have to pick some locks instead okay now that we're out of the elements and in the nice warm basement here uh, I got a lock found in my mailbox today the from I'm assuming neighbor X again a couple doors down uh, dropped another one off for me he left a note with this one says Hey neighbor, uh, no key with this one. Good luck. P.S. I haven't unlocked the one you sent yet. I uh, I put a couple in his mailbox the other day just to uh, return some of the favors he's been sending me. So this one here is a home security brand. Um, fairly well built lock. Uh, pretty heavy so it's a, it's a solid brass cylinder on this one. Um, here's the bidding on the key. Doesn't look anything too radical so I think his defense is going to be in the pinning of this one, so it does work very smoothly. Don't don't feel anything uh, too terrible in it. So let's uh, nice wide open keyway. So I think we're going to use bottom of the keyway. I got a nice uh, thick tension wrench here, actually made from an old Allen key, one of the first ones I think I ended up making uh, a couple moons ago. So going to apply just light tension. I think we're just going to use a Peterson. Just a standard Peterson hook and we'll go through and see what we can feel here. So a little bit of light tension. Start at the front and see what we can do. So pin one. Nothing. Pin two. A bit of a click out of two. Pin three. Looks like we got a click and a turn out of three. Pin four. Find it. There we go. Bit of a click out of four. On five, feels like we are springy. Pin one feel. Oh, there we go. Just got a click out of one. Two still feels springy. Three feels springy. Good click out of four, and it feels like I got a false set going out of him now. Pin five feels tight. Just loosen up on the tension a bit and see if we can't drive him home. You know what? We're going to give it just a bit of counter rotation off the wrench here. Well, we got him set, but I just physically saw one drop back down so let's uh, one set back up there we go two still springy feels like three springy They almost all feel set, so something's just grabbing that shear line just uh, just on a last serration or something here. Let's try and find which one it is, unless I've overset something. Thought I had it there for a second. But. Okay, four just gave us a big click and a uh, big click and a nice uh, false set. Almost should have chalked this one up on the, chalked it up in the vise. Figured this would have been one of his quick ones, but okay. So one feels like he's set. Two, two's nice and springy. Three feels set. I think. Let's give him another push. And there we go, gentlemen. We got an open on it. So let's get this stuff out of the way and we'll see what Neighbor X threw into this one for us. So 
gives me a chance to show off the new case I made the other day as well. This is my new uh, my disassemble kit I threw together. <laughs> so, well, all the parts are the same. Just uh, made the box the other day in the shop when I was bored. So, get the pinning tray out. We'll get this uh, clip off the back here. Get this pin down. And we'll see what neighbor X threw in this one for us. Get the spring out of here. Okie dokie, let's uh, get a plug follower here that'll work. This one looks good. I think, yeah, there we go. Okay, so, well that is interesting, I don't know if you guys can see this, but it looks like, uh, camera to focus, looks like number three is actually empty, odd, that's not normally like him to miss one, but okay, well let's, uh, let's get these dumped out and see what they look like, so number one, we have a standard, Number two, we got a standard. Number three, we'll hit it anyways, but it's empty. Number four, looks like a standard. Number five, looks like it might be serrated or nope. I think it's a standard as well. This isn't uh, this isn't looking like too much of a challenge lock here, guys. Let's uh, let's get into the core and see what he's got going on in here then maybe. Or get into the Bible here, sorry. Working upside down here today. Hang on a second here. Okay, let's see what he's got going on in here. So, number one. We have a spool. Number two. Wow, that is a nice looking pin. Okay. Give you guys a close up of this one once we get it all taken apart here. Number three. Oh, okay. Well, it looks like what happened is is I actually pushed the key pin up into the Bible with the driver pin. So he did pin it up. I don't know how I got that thing above the shear line, but wow. Okay, I got uh, both the key pin and the driver pin up in there. Never had that happen to me yet. So this one looks like a homemade spool, and number five is another spool. Let's get these springs dropped out of here, see what they look like. I'm uh, falling all over the bench. There we go. Sending them flying into my laundry room here too. Okay, I think we got all five. So yeah, guys, that's uh, at the risk of sounding corny. That's never happened to me before. <laughs> I've never actually pushed the uh, the key pin right up with the driver pin inside of a chamber like that. But anyway, get it to focus. Here is what the pins of this lock look like. So. Yeah, so what I had actually done was I had pushed up, uh, pushed the key pin for number three right up with the driver pin and, and buried it into the Bible. So it actually emptied out the, the core. So, and, uh, so just to recap here, we got a standard and a spool. A uh, standard, and it looks like a really nice homemade double spool on that one. Um, we got a spool for a key pin on three, and then, uh, um, I don't know, we'll, we'll call that a bit of a, a spool or a barrel pin. Uh, number four, we got a standard key pin and more of a spool upper pin. Uh, that one looks homemade. Number five looks like a standard key pin and then uh, it does look like a factory uh, factory spool on that one, not very deep. So, And then the spring selection on this one, it looks like he's got a different spring for every chamber on this one. So that would have given us our different feedbacks, but... Um, just take a real quick look at the uh, cores here to see if any of them are threaded or not. Just grab a rag, wipe everything off. So, the core 
does not appear to be threaded or counter milled or, or anything like that that looks stock and the Bible itself does not look like it's been altered so anyway guys uh, thanks again for watching and this has uh, this is a home security lock I think I'm gonna pin this one back up just the way it was and maybe send it out to uh, one of you guys as a challenge lock like it was a it was a decent one it was a fun one to get into so anyway neighbor X uh, thanks for the lock buddy and we will uh, we'll see the rest of you guys soon thanks for watching <laughs>